And so while Governor Romney and President Obama were facing off during the second presidential debate, pollster Frank Luntz was with a focus group of undecided voters in the all-important swing state of Nevada, getting their reaction to the 90-minute showdown. And here is more of last night's focus group. Sean, something magical happened tonight, and I want to do it by a show of hands so the people at home can understand it. Raise your hands if you voted for Barack Obama in 2008. Keep your hands up. That's most of you. Now raise your hands if you're still going to be voting for Barack Obama in 2012. That's not many of you. And one more question. Tonight, who was more presidential? And I use that word deliberately. Who says Barack Obama was? But you voted for the guy. Why was, what's the issue? Was it Romney's success or Obama's failure? Explain it, Vicki. His proven track record. And he felt so comfortable in his skin, Romney. His presentation. Explain that presentation. He comes, with, he comes across very positive. He knows what he's talking about. He's forceful. He's fluent. He understands the issues. He knows how to articulate them. Romney. Romney. Yes, he's very articulate and knows what he's talking about, basically. And he, he gave a positive yeah. upbeat view. Calvin Coolidge said the business of America is business. And she knew Calvin Coolidge. <laughs> <laughs> he just exudes success. Yeah. He, he answered uh, the question much better. He just his his answers just seem more thought out. Okay, and, and but explain why they were better. And he wasn't rude. Hold on, explain <laughs> what you just did. We're not going to do. <laughs> explain it, it. It it just seemed like he was more calm up there, and his answers were just flowing better. I feel that uh, Romney is a better salesman, and he had a better close, but that doesn't necessarily make him presidential. Elliot, salesman? Who's no, it's a, the matter of point was that they would ask Barack Obama what time it was, and his answer would be partly cloudy with a 30% chance of rain. <laughs> okay, Elliot, I do the jokes here. <laughs> David? As I say, he, he, he just, it's an awe of success about the man, that he's a leader, and, and you just want to follow him. You, you know he's going to do for the country what he says he's going to yeah, do. He makes you feel confident and yeah. secure. But you walked in here undecided. You voted for Barack Obama. I don't understand it. I don't think it's so much about what, what Romney did as to what Obama didn't do. Yeah, didn't smile. Romney didn't in the private forward. sector was a turnaround artist. He took companies that were failing, made them productive. Mm -hmm. The United States right now needs a turnaround. So he's been very substantive on the issues. So let me, I, I want to show the people at home. They dialed here using our devices. The red line represents Republican. The green line represents Democrats. There was one specific moment where Romney did really well when he was talking about his own background and how that affected what he believed in Washington. Let's take a look at that clip and then we'll get your explanation for why. And as governor of my state, I was able to get 100% of my people insured. All my kids, about 98% of the adults, was able also to get our schools ranked number one in the nation so 100% of our kids would have a bright opportunity for a future. I understand that I can get this country on track again. We don't have to settle for what we're going through. We don't have to settle for gasoline at four bucks. We don't have to settle for unemployment at, at a chronically high level. We don't have to settle for 47 million people on food stamps. We don't have to settle for 50% of kids coming out of college not able to get work. We don't, don't have to settle for 23 million people struggling to find a good job. That was one of the rare moments when both Democrats and Republicans agreed and they appreciated what Mitt Romney had to say. All three of you voted for Barack Obama, but you like what Romney said tonight. Why? You know, he has a great business mind and uh, track record. He cares about money and, and business, and uh, Obama cares about people. And uh, so you have to decide what's more important. And what's more important? I'm not sure yet. He's a very successful businessman who knows what he wants to get done. He proved it in the Olympics, which I understand he didn't take a salary. I think he's a very sincere man and he'd be good for the country. Vicky? He's got a great business sense, but he also has that soul and he lets people know. But you voted for Obama. I did because he had that gut instinct and was going to go forward and he was going to make the changes and he had his chance. Sean, let me end it with a question that I know you care about the most. How many of you in this room went from undecided to decided? Raise your hands. Okay, so we just wiped out the undecided. And how many of you who went from undecided are now voting for Mitt Romney? And how many for Barack Obama? It was a good night for Mitt Romney.
not such a good night for Barack Obama. Back to you. And that is all the time we have left this evening. As always, thank you for being with us. Let not.